Hey guys, today I want to share a story that happened in 2013. I read the story when it happened. I didn't believe it. I just wanted to make, so it happened March 20th, 2013. It happened on Reddit. And to go over principles of kind of disbelief, uh, remember a lot of times when people are making videos or going on social media, they're not entirely honest about the objectives. So a Redditor, and I'll post links and I'll pictures below, uh, finds $32,000 worth of magic cards in a safe, in a hidden safe. He posts on Reddit, he pretends that he doesn't know what they are worth. Uh, turns out, and his wife actually goes, his wife omits it, and I'll read a quote from the wife, uh, I may be married to the, the guy and love him to death, but yes, OP is a blank, curse word. Hopefully this has gotten something out of his system and future blank, curse word, try will be kept a, to a minimal. So essentially he, um, and it just shows me how greedy people are. Uh, as imagine a person goes, finds, well, there's two interesting parts about this story. There's the one person who just wants to be famous or he lies about, he puts his own magic cards in a safe with some coins and a baseball and then he says that he found the safe and he doesn't know what it's worth but yet the problem is some of these altars and his playmat in particular are very unique and he was posting them everywhere online so people matched the pictures and were like hey unless you have like exactly altered from this person and they, they figured out it was the same person who was posting. So it was, uh, it would be like if I put all my rare magic cards in a safe, I took a picture, I made a Reddit account, I took a picture of my safe and then said, I don't know what's in it. And then later I open it and then it's all these like Lotuses and Power Nine expensive magic cards. And I'm like, oh, I don't know what that is. Here's the interesting part is on Reddit, um, here's a quote. This is an exact quotation from the person. Uh, Jubilee Lee, who uh, is a avid redditor, said that um, please, please be gentle with those cards. After the person said, "Oh, I found these cards. I don't know what they are worth," but again, that was a lie. Uh, that was a scam. You know, he was trying to get his name out there. Uh, he's actually from Texas, so yeah. Please, please be gentle with those cards. Not only is that a substantial amount of money, but that stuff just isn't out there anymore. You found history, a very meaningful binder of treasures. So Jubilee Lee says that it's 28,000 to 32,000. Check out her, her offer on this set. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I thought about making you offer on it for $10,000, but that would be a shitty thing to do. You deserve to upgrade your house, get a new car, whatever. So it would be like if someone found, like I pretend, but at that point, no one on Reddit knew that the guy was scamming, right? Or that it was his own cards, because the guy, pretend that he did a very good job uh, kind of displaying non-knowledge of magic cards and like mishandling them. And you already have sharks who are swimming around, you know, talking about 10, I mean, again, it's by their own estimate, it's 28,000 to 32,000 retail and they're gonna pay, they're gonna to try to offer 10,000 or they were going to, but their conscious got the better of them. I'm sure that he did get offers for 5,000, 2,000 even $1,000 uh, as soon as he posted it on Reddit in PMs. I'm sure he has a ton of those uh, PMs. Um, and then the Redditor, the Kid142, investigated and then created a fairly, pretty much called him out on it. And I mean, he had picture evidence. Uh, essentially, it would be like if I had all these Filia altars I have that I show you guys, and I put them in the safe, and then I took a picture of the altars. That's a pretty easy connect, right? Uh, and then if I had like the Amat playmat and then like other custom playmats and I also put them in the safe, <laughs> you would be like, wait a second, that looks like MTG Lions playmat. Because it would be, right? Um, so sh he, uh, the safe is big and he made a fake Reddit account. Fessed up, oh, this was not done for karma, it was done for entertainment, he posted. And then his wife posted a comment about, you know, blank, the blank, the blank that he blanked up. Uh, OP is a blank. Hopefully this has gotten something out of the system and future blank try will be kept at a minimal. So that is uh, kind of crazy how, you know, when you talk about uh, social media magic or a lot of things are posted. I mean, a lot of times I watch a video and the guy says I own, 
the guy can't doesn't even own like an i like he doesn't even own a device that he can take a picture of his massive collection and they're telling me that they own like alpha like a whole set of alpha and i said hey show it to me you can obviously if you can afford that you can afford to take a picture of it and send it to me facebook now i'm still waiting for those pictures to happen uh and it's just a matter of um you have to suspend your disbelief once in a while when you do hear these stories because they're so um I don't want to say that like, well, I guess the intentions are to become famous and whatever that means in Magic the Gathering. Otherwise, like, why would he do so? Like, why would he put his own cards and coins and baseball into a safe, make a new Reddit account, say that here's a safe, pretend that he doesn't know what's in the safe, field offers for like $1,000 to $10,000, which pretty much are offensive offers. And then um, have his wife like call BS on him. And at that point, like the wife has to call BS on him. Otherwise, the wife's in on it, right? <laughs> it's pretty bad when your own wife makes a public statement saying that you are a blank. <laughs> Crazy, right? Bye, guys.